welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are doing well and welcome back to the YouTube series of our video channel. So we're gonna do something a little bit differently today and answer a user request from the comments section of the last video where we integrated JSON uh, data from kind of a REST API into our application to show a more dynamic home feed for our YouTube app. So if you missed that video, click down in the description below, you'll be able to find it. And the question uh, I have on my iPhone here, I'm just gonna read it out loud. And the question is, uh, first of all, thanks for the tutorial. Uh, you're welcome. I have a question. Currently, I'm using Firebase to store and fetch images. That's quite a common thing to do. But I'm experiencing a problem with the image where the images are in the wrong table view cell, even though the image URLs are in uh, are correct. Google told me that it was because the image files are too large and images are being overwritten. Something to do with async as well. Are there any ways I can solve this? All right, so quite the common problem that occurs inside of a table view or a collection view. And actually last video, I was mentioning this problem occurring inside of our app. And so I'm gonna show you guys what is exactly going on by going to the Xcode uh, simulator right here. So here is the latest uh, project that we have. I'm gonna run it to make sure we are in the right spot. So I'm gonna hit run and here we go. Now, before I show you guys what the problem is, I actually introduced a bug in the last video's uh, JSON integration. And the bug is in this fetch video function. So it brought us there. That's where the crash is. And I'm gonna go to the console down below and it says only run on the main thread. Pretty confusing error message. And let me just tell you what to do to fix this. So let's go to home control here and then go to fetch videos and all the way down below where we are reloading the collection view, we need to get back onto the main thread by calling dispatch async dispatch get main queue, enter there, and then just cut that and paste it in there. Now you can run the application and it should not crash anymore, hopefully. And there we go. So apologies for that. I uh, hope you guys implement this fix before you guys move on. Um, anyhow, back to the question at hand. Um, the collection view that we have here, so I've added this Rebecca Black image correctly and this John Legend cell down below. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to replicate this bug right here. So here is the issue. I have Beyonce at the very bottom where it was supposed to be that John Legend uh, all of me video and Rebecca Black is being replaced by Drake and Rihanna. So the cells are not being loaded with the correct image. And the problem is every time I scroll up and down, I load new images into these cells. And because these cells are actually being reused, uh, the incorrect image actually gets load, loaded into these cells um, from time to time. So basically if I scroll really fast, uh, this image takes a really long time to load and then the cell thinks that, okay, let me finish by putting this image view in that cell, but it doesn't know that it's not correct. So that is the problem. Hope you guys kind of get what is going on. Um, anyways, let's see what the fix to this problem is. Okay, now the issue occurs inside a video cell, inside of this uh, setup thumbnail image, uh, setup thumbnail, set up thumbnail image function. And inside of here, we are calling this load image using URL string. It is an extension method on this UI image view. So uh, pretty straightforward so far. It fires off a uh, data task and then it sets the image to whatever that request comes back with. So to make this a little bit more easy on the eyes in terms of uh, seeing what is going on, I'm going to set image equals nil. And so remember we're inside of UI image view here. So when we do this, it's basically setting the image to a blank image. That's why you see this white here. And you see this issue down here occurs when this does not finish fast enough. And now it's fixed. So we want to fix this issue by first fixing one thing. Every time we, uh, scroll up and down, we're actually taking a lot of 
the user's data to reload these images uh, again and again. So let's avoid uh, unnecessarily loading images um, using a image cache. So uh, right above this image view here, I'm going to declare an image cache like this. And let's just call it NS cache right here. And this will be our new cache. Now, every time I finish loading one of these images for my request, I'm going to store that image inside of my cache. So I'm going to call a variable image to cache right here equals this image down here. Let's see, I'm going to cut that and see, nope, paste there and then set this image to cache as the image. Now I'm going to run that and nothing will change yet because I haven't modified any of the UI so far. So I'm going to actually store this image to cache inside of my image cache right now by saying image cache uh, set object for key. This will be image to cache and this key is this URL string right here. So it just matches from the URL string to this image right here. So we need to force unwrap it like this it should be okay. And uh, that's all we need to do in terms of caching the image. So running that, everything is still A-OK. -okay. Now we need to check for this cached image every time we scroll up and down. So basically we're going to avoid this redundant loading right there. And it's very easy if we just simply uh, get the image from the cache first. So up here on line 39, I'm going to say if let image from cache. Well, we're going to get it from the cache. Let's see. Get it from the cache by saying image cache object for a key. And we'll get it from the URL string key like that. And this will be a UI image. Uh, we need to cast it right here because the cache doesn't know what kind of object it is. And now we just set image see self dot image equals image from cache and then we return if we are able to find this image in cache otherwise we fire off this request again and then we are going to be okay so loading the application now every time the application finishes loading one of these images it no longer has to Re refetch the image from the internet and then fire up the battery on the antenna of the phone and then wasting the user's data plan. So this is all to save your user from being overcharged uh, on their cellular, cellular plan. And it's a very easy fix. And it already solves one major issue where all that flickering has gone away, right? So that's the first problem that we fix. And the second issue occurs when we are not in a very good uh, cellular hotspot. So you see how this image right here actually is not Rebecca Black. It's this Drake and Rihanna image. So we want to fix this as well. So let's think about what we want to do. Ah. See, okay, Rebecca Black is back, and then and now we're okay. So the problem is, um, when I load the image for the, or or the app for the first time, the images don't get loaded fast enough. And if I just scroll down, uh, what happens is these these uh, thumbnails get potentially uh, loaded with the wrong image. If I just scroll down, and then the images. Uh, load in the incorrect order. So you see this image takes a long time to load and it gets loaded in the wrong slot. So the fix for this, which I think works pretty okay on my end, is to actually create a subclass of UI image view. So here's what I am going to do. I'm going to remove this extension here. So instead of using an extension, I'm going to create this class called, let's see, class and then we're going to call it custom image uh, view right there and then we have this function here it does the same thing but the only thing we're going to modify is this introduction of a variable called 
uh, image or URL string. So let's just do this here. Let's create a var URL. Let's see, image URL string like that is a string like so. And then here's what we are going to do. Let's see. Okay. And then we need to set it as an optional. And now we are good to start doing something inside of this custom image view. So I'm going to fix this error right here. And you see how it's trying to load these uh, images for the user profile and the thumbnail. And it's not able to find this because we just removed the extension. Now we have to actually change this uh, UI image view to use our custom image view like so. And let's just fix that there, fix that there, and there, and then build and run. So essentially we changed our extension into a subclass and it contains that same function, but now we can do a simple check on the extent or, or the subclass custom image view. So here's what I'm going to do. Every time we call this load image uh, using URL, I'm just going to set image URL to this URL string that we pass into this function parameter. And then in here, we're going to check if this image URL string is still equal to this URL string right there. And I'm going to just say, if, um, let's see, if image URL string is equal to this URL string that we passed in, then we'll set this this image to cache there. And let's see. So we need a self in here, self, because we're inside of this completion block. And here we'll keep the image caching down below. And now we'll run the application again to see what happens when I load it. And then I scroll down real fast. And you see that pretty much fix the problem right there. So I'm gonna load the application again. It's kind of hard to see if it actually works, but trust me, it actually does. So right there, right there, John Legend's down here, Rebecca Black is there. Run that one more time to prove that this is a viable solution. So there we go, there we go, and there we go. So that's pretty good and run that one more time. I actually want to verify with my own eyes that this is a good solution there. Okay. Okay. And so I am just checking if the images are being loaded incorrectly. So pretty good. And we get this Beyonce image there. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the solution to fixing the UI table view cell uh, image problem that happens quite often in production. Okay, that about wraps it up for our video today. So if you have any requests for me, please leave it down below in the comments and perhaps I'll be able to come up with a fix to address, address your issue as well. Uh, so if you like this video, make sure to like it and subscribe if you wanna get notifications on my further uh, video releases. And you can also follow me on Twitter where I answer your questions if you have anything that you want to talk to me about. So that's it. Have a good day and bye-bye.